Hello and welcome back guys to an episode of Your Pronosals 4 as Serbia. Last episode we took even more land from the Ottomans and poor Byzantium lost Constantinople. Rip in peace. And this episode, I don't know what we're going to do. Well, hello Poland. Ugh. Yeah. We're at war with Denmark, Sweden, Norway, Heine, and you really can't win? That's weird. Wolgast, you don't even start with that. How the hell is that the only province you have left? And that is a... Wait, did they take Berlin? Yeah, they did. Yes, they did. So, let us begin. Let me look for the attack the Ottomans in war. Well, what, what a good sign. What a good sign. <laughs> Honestly, let's take a look at everything. Yeah, we got these Dalmatian Separatists. Which, hey, whatever. Fuck. Aww. I guess, I guess it doesn't really matter. I mean, if the Mamluks are going to attack them again, then so should we. I mean... I mean, let's boost that maintenance up on shit. Let's get ready. Oh, we're not going to do it immediately. We do want to... The fuck? Only when I play this game. I swear to God. Only when I play this game. <laughs> Alright. So, that is a good sign. I have a very good feeling that Poland eventually won't join the war. Probably, they probably got rebels and it flipped back. Attack on Zombs in the second Mamluckian conquest of Adana. Never, never, ever did I think, wait, hold on. So normally the AI will at least ally with countries that it's rivaled with and stuff. I get that. The Ottomans rivals are Hungary, Mamlux, and me. Poland's rivals are Denmark, Bohemia, and Muscovy. How in the name of hell did these two end up allied? Yeah, and obviously none of these guys are going to join. Well, you're at war and you're kind of getting your ass kicked. Actually, no, they're winning, just they're taking damage. Once the main blocks deal enough damage, we'll be alright. I'm pretty confident that uh, Poland and the Ottomans aren't going to be able to beat them. We could probably skip right over to Constantinople. That might not be a good move. Well, alternatively, we could use this as an opportunity. Oh yeah, I forgot. Francis Defender of the Faith. It doesn't matter that much. I mean, I might be able to convert that one. What? Oh, it, it's because it's there. Huh, I didn't know that. I mean, I always just ended up having my vassals be my religion. I've never really had one of a different religion. I didn't know that if you try and convert, if you try and convert their provinces, that it does theirs. Well, we'll fix that. Much better. Uh, Ragus is still a what? Well, there. At least I know the Ottomans won't join the war. Huh. I mean, all we need is the Mamluks to start winning and we'll be fine. Oh, that's probably why they did it, because... Well, actually, they're not even allied to Akhonlu anymore. Why? Why Poland? Oh, poor Austria. 
Man, none of, only one of them is voting for him. It's Trier. Wait, what? Oh, Munich is occupying that state. Okay, that makes sense. So, Geneva. I actually think they've expanded. That's pretty cool. And they annexed Croatia, which is actually a good thing. Because they're probably a little bit weaker overall. Austria has laid claim to the throne of Hungary. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, that was a good idea. So I do think we should consider uh, annexing them soon. I'm surprised. I'm still mad that Poland's even in the war. I like this little duel between Moldavia and uh, Malahia. Alright, yeah, our truce is up. We have the claims we want on the Ottomans. Oops. Oh, uh, yeah, well, actually, we'll build a couple more buildings. Do you want to build production buildings instead? Yeah, that'll work. Kind of wish France wasn't Defender of the Faith. I mean, it's not the end of the world. I mean, it, it's the Ottomans that matter. And I'm fairly confident that all the Ottomans have, have a regency. Poland is very close to not joining the war. They're close enough to not joining that I think we need to take a loan and get some mercenaries. Yeah, we'll do the Grand Company. I forget. Do we have a Siege Pip General? Yes, we do. We'll just spin in for another. Okay, not the end of the world. We'll attach you to the first army. Uh, yeah, we are still building those forts, but I don't want to pass up the opportunity to shit on the Ottomans again. Oh, hello, Milan. Please go away. I have better things to do. Yeah, piss off. I don't get how the Mamluks keep losing these wars. They have every advantage. I mean, they do have, obviously, Poland in the war. Well, I mean, I don't even know if there's Polish troops over there. I mean, Poland is still in debt. Uh, if I could get Hungary to join the war with me, I'd feel more comfortable about declaring war on them. But I don't think... Oh, well, there we go. So, it'll just be me versus them. We're going to have to take a deer nay, which is going to be a bit risky. So, we're going to declare for that. Oh, oh no! We got to take Constantinople. That is going to suck. Fizon is raiding me. Yeah, we'll take the stability. I mean, if we can take Constantinople, I'm sure that'll be more than enough war score. We might be able to make a icon. Yeah, we'll do icon of St. Michael. So the Ottomans pretty much... Uh, you know what? I really don't want to do this, but I am a bit enough afraid of a Ottoman death stack coming to me. Are they still in a personal union? Oh, yeah, it's a very good, good thing I waited for them. I didn't even notice that. For some reason, I thought that they lost it. What, what mission did I possibly do? Formed in 
Oh, commission any icon. Promote the Patriarch. Patriarch with 75%. Well, I don't know if that's happening anytime soon, Chief. Uh oh, that, that ain't a good sign. They're still at war with the man blocks. Uh, we're gonna want to consider eventually making a navy. Oh, that was actually really lucky. We got pretty far ahead on that roll. Is the game gonna be? Uh, nope. There's two. Eight. That's good. As long as they're still at war with the Mamlocks, I'm pretty confident in our ability to win. I would like to take Constantinople. Ooh. We're actually getting fairly lucky, all things considered. Who can I call in? Do I want to do this, though? Well, Hungary will... Actually, you know what? There's no reason not to do it, because Hungary is willing to join the war anyway. We do... Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, I wouldn't have done it now in hindsight. Um, that will be ideal. Really? The Mamluks will? Alright, yeah. Taking Constantinople might be a bit far for them. I mean, we could always try and take Gallipoli or something. Uh... I mean, if we improve relations with them, they might not. How much aggressive expansion would I actually be getting? Oh, a lot. Yeah, we won't take that. Can I take this instead, though? Yeah, so then it's only them joining the coalition. And what other... I do kind of want to wall out Hungary. But obviously, we'll... I mean, all three of these... Ones are in Thrace, so it's not a horrible idea. Um, I think the Ottomans might not, not be able to walk across. So if they're not going to peace out right now for these three, then I'm fine with just taking two. Nope, but they'll they'll take that. Great, actually great. And we got this. Oh, we're gonna go meritocrat. Mer. Words. We're going to do the meritocracy one just for the fact that I do like having cheaper advisors. So that way later on we start really having enough money to hire them. That's not an issue. Uh, no. Uh, we should consider declaring war on Byzantium. Yeah, I'm going to re-say... Uh, we do still need that, an Albanian province, which is a big pain in the ass. Alright, now we also have to deal with the fucking knights. So this is going to sound dumb, but it is actually in our interest to hope... Wow, there's actually a center of reformation in Italy? I love it when that happens. Or Spain. I always think it's fun. You know what? It's not fun. The fact that my pop filter has not been in front of my face this whole time. That isn't fun. Yeah, and luckily, I mean, only yeah, only one of these is uh, Bulgarian, but the other two are Greek, so it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, piss off, nobility. How soon are these rebellions going to break out? Where is it? Where would it be? Well, if I just raise autonomy here, and then... Provoke should be right there. Oh, 18's a bit high. Wow, we've actually owned these long enough to get rid of uh, culture. I guess we have. Gary and Separatist. Th them I'll definitely just provoke. Yeah, now the Mamluks are losing. God, I hate Karamon. I hate you, Mamluks, so much. Mamluks sure are fun to play. Which, actually, games I'm doing right now in EU4, um, I've been doing Congo. The thing is with Spain, is my Spain games were good, but I'm trying to get the golden cent the forever golden achievement when you have to do all their mission tree. I'm just bad when it comes to dealing with the Holy Roman Empire, especially as Emperor. 
So not only do I have to become emperor, I have to then uh, unify the empire, which I've actually never done. So I don't know how well it's going to work. Or if at all, which means I'll just have to play the game again. Whatever, it's not the end of the world. I mean, I would like a Mamlox Alliance. They're not going to give it to us. Who the hell is that? Oh, that Bedouin tribe. So, as we start taking more naval uh, coastal provinces, we should consider making a navy. We're not going to be able to compete with the Ottoman navy right now. Like, what's their navy comparable? It's a lot of galleys and shit. I think once we take more of the Balkan side of the Ottoman Empire, we'll be in a position to where we can do that. Alright, Bulgarians, are you ready to fight me? I, I know exactly what province they're going to be in, so... Provoke. And die, die, die. No. I mean, I have an heir. I just don't have a uh, consort. Which really isn't the end of the world. And we'll core everything. Which should actually do a good amount for... Uh, oh, great. We gained a claim on Spilato. You know what? The fact that there's a center here in Geneva... Some of them are probably going to spread around the France. If France converts, that would be very useful for us. I mean, we could even become, through some trickery, become a uh, Protestant. So I think we're going to start uh, working on annexing these guys. I think we're at the point now to where they're not their use is kind of uh, kind of over. Yeah, we'll get some cannons in our army. Probably, actually, yeah, I shouldn't be spending money right now. I should be getting rid of my debt. How's the uh, Byzantine revolt looking? And we can drop our fort maintenance down and start rolling in cash. And let's get a... You know, nah. We will hire advisors very soon, but I want to get our debt paid first. And debt is paid. And we have a claim on Constantinople, who is going to be our next war. Uh, ooh, Karakahunlu is actually pretty big. Yeah, but they're kind of behind on military tech. Well, we'll play it by ear. Because we're actually... I mean, when's our truce going to be up with them? Four. So we're not going to have... The Ottomans have declared war on Byzantium. Well... I guess that's kind of my fault. I should have done that, very, done that sooner. Look at them. They still have a huge army. Yeah, look at them. They're still a great power. They're about to be a great power again, aren't they? Oh no, they lost it. In yeah, whatever. I don't care. Inflation's dumb. Inflation isn't real. Ooh, seven cannons, huh? Yeah, so this is going to be it for the Byzantines. Wait, I've, ne I've never seen this happen, to where the Karakun is able to ally the Timurids and the Ottomans. They're like two biggest rivals, normally. Realistically, we'll probably see the Mamluks be willing to declare war on them again. At least I think so. So, you... Those are the... Yeah, everything that you don't claim is vital, we're going to take. Cool. 
colonialism. Something that we're not going to be getting for quite some time. Doesn't... No, it's Burgundy that probably owns it. I'm surprised that France... That England... Uh, that, that England still owns that land. Wow, what, what a Burgundian succession you got there. Wow. How the hell did you become emperor? Yeah, they all want all shit back. Your enemies include Venice. I actually, we actually have enough favors with Austria. I mean, it's a distant war. You know what? There's a good chance that if we when we annex Bosnia, that uh, you know, it, it's probably from the time that I revoked the March status. We're gonna leave Herzegovina for a while just because I don't want to deal with having uh, two, another stability drop. So we should keep an eye on, especially Venice. It is realistic that Venice will become Protestant, which if they do, oh boy. Uh, hey, Anglican, which that's not surprising at all. No, I'd say the, the, the centers of Reformation are actually pretty decently spread out around here. So they're probably going to convert a lot. Now, I knew they get claims on this part of their mission, but I've never actually seen Genoa actually take this. What the hell? This game just keeps getting better and better. Oh, I have to take Corfu. Yeah, whatever. It is what it is. What dumb war is going on? Burg oh. <laughs> well, this could be good and bad. Good, because if they somehow deal enough damage to them, France might not join the war. Ooh, there's actually a very realistic chance that they may join the, not join this war. Which, in that case, I want freaking Albania. Just said these guys don't want to join it. Huh? Despot favors offense. Well, let's improve relations with Austria. Ooh, we're actually ahead on military tech. So maybe we should consider dropping this. And I'll get... Quantity is a good idea. It actually would synergize pretty good since we already have 50% morale speed. So having another bonus to our... Not morale, um, manpower is actually making... So we're going to get our manpower pretty quick, which means we don't have to depend on mercenaries as much. And eventually, but not quite, we could probably outmanpower nations in wars. See, I actually think that's a good way we could take advantage of that. But that advantage is going to have to wait for another time. So if you guys enjoyed the episode, which I hope you did, remember to like it. It really helps me out. Leave a comment down below. I love reading you guys have the site. And hey, if you want to see more of my content, remember to subscribe. I'll catch you all next time. Peace!